Well, I got rousted by the cops again for sleeping in public. And I got a feeling that's you, Tracy. The lady whose generosity was inefficient and I criticized. Maybe it's a uh, First United Methodist, but all I know is the cop confirmed that when he tried to call back the complainant, the complainant had him directed into voicemail. So, you fuckers won't even let a 70-year-old man who gets very little sleep won't let me nod off for more than a few minutes because you do not like my criticisms of because just yesterday, I posted another video about how somebody dumped a bunch of crap on me and John that I had to carry all of it to the dumpster. So that was, a, so far I've re received, because it actually, both the citation and the warning have to be in writing. COVID is over. You can't go paperless anymore. My best friend is a criminal defender, and he says it has to be in writing on paper to be legal. So essentially, we got somebody who's a friend, drinking buddy of the cops. Maybe that's you, Tracy. Calling once again to wake me up and annoy me. I'm just making this video to let you know, uh, you know that's, I'm sick of your shit. And that you're just a fucking evil person. That's what you are. You know, you come up, you try to dominate me. You load me up. You promise you'll be there at five o'clock in the morning to take that stuff away. You weren't there at 530. I'm putting that crap in the dumpster. So you may convince yourself that you're a good person, whether it's Tracy or some other inefficiently generous person or something, dumping tons of stuff like winter gear. At this time of year, dumping that crap on me, you may have convinced yourself that you're a good person. You're not. You're a thoughtless, careless person who's trying to just drown an old man in a wheelchair with one functional arm with more junk than he can carry or wants to deal with. You know, you show zero consideration for me. The only time people have been truly considerate of me is when they give me shekels. Because shekels are light, portable, easily managed, and I can buy precisely what doesn't make me sick when I need it. Shekels work. All your garbage and all your your Vienna sausage and all that crap that y'all and you know, giving me winter gear and hand warmers and shit in the you know on a hundred degree day, about to be a hundred and two today. You know, expecting me I'm, that I'm going to carry that shit around for months is, or carry around Tracy. If you think I'm going to carry around an ice chest full of ice and food and drink, and I even like I told the cop who tried to tell me to stay hydrated, don't tell me to stay hydrated. You need, I told him you need to watch my last video, which is titled, Stop Telling Me to Stay Hydrated, You Morons. I have edema. I'm dehydrated right now deliberately and stuff. I've got to. It's probably be another hour or so before I decide to start taking any liquids. I'm already gone almost four minutes here. I just want to let you know the jig was up. The minute the cop tried to call back the complainant, the complainant had him blocked or directed into voicemail. No answer situation, which means they didn't want the cop even knowing their gender. So, you know what? The person who did that, you're a worthless piece of shit. You do not respect your elders, your elders and your betters. And you're, if you call yourself a Christian, you're forgetting one of God's number one commandments, which is to care for the weak and the frail. Instead, you're harassing the weak and the frail. Won't even let me get a nap without a cop coming up here and politely apologizing because he had some phone call from some concerned citizen who's not concerned. They're hateful. You're a hateful bitch, Tracy. Any whoever, whoever called that in, you're a hateful piece of shit. Period. See, this is not made for kids. This is an adult program. You're a hateful piece of shit. Go fuck yourself.
you know, do your mother at the same time. 